Ladies and gentlemen, Rex Bear Lee Project, how the heck are you? San Antonio, Texas is a madhouse right now. Try going to a gas station. Good luck getting fuel. I just passed a gas station down the street from my house. I know the owner, his name is Zach. I noticed the line was insane. I asked if he'd get a couple pictures for me. I called him up and said, hey, Zach, this is Rex. Will you take some pictures or get some footage so I can show it on my YouTube channel how crazy it is to get fuel out here? He said, I would, Rex, but guess what? The line is gone now because I'm out of fuel. I said, oh, great. I said, well, you're going to get fuel again soon, right? He laughed. He said, it's probably going to be seven to ten days at least before he gets another shipment of fuel. Every gas station that I've gone past has dozens of cars there. It's literally blocking streets. This could get nasty, folks. This could get real nasty. All of the refineries along, the, along Houston, the Gulf Coast, as well as Louisiana, from what I've been told, have been shut down. The ripple effect is already in full play in San Antonio. What's it like in Houston? Also, I have a friend in Dallas that said the same thing. In Dallas, the gas stations are full. People are waiting in line for over an hour just to put a few gallons of gasoline in their vehicle. Welcome to the new New World Order, folks. How many times have I brought up in the past, if you live in a big city, you are sitting in a time bomb zone, in a ticking time bomb zone. People go nuts over fuel, food, water. They see something on TV that a storm might be coming in, even if it doesn't, a lot of times they'll go out and just empty the shelves. The radiation levels are at 0.10 microsieverts per hour. The water in Houston has got to be a toxic cesspool of volatile chemicals, toxic elements. This is insane, folks. I saw this coming. I'm sure you did as well. This is just the beginning. It's going to get a lot uglier before it gets pretty. Now, another thing you might consider doing is investing in a bicycle. Get yourselves a nice bike. I'll, I'll share this one with you. Check that bad boy out. That's my transportation, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Well, and as of right now, I've got Frankenstein filled up. But if Frankenstein, the mobile studio, if I have to park him for a bit, I'll just pedal to the next story. <laughs> Be the change you want to see and fill up on fuel.